Hey everyone, welcome to this weekly Sidero Astrology Forecast for the week of November 16th to the 22nd of 2020. All right, so this week, a bit of a quiet week astrologically considering the energies we've had these past few months. Uh, we do have the new moon energy still coming out of last weekend, so we had a new moon on Sunday. And so as we go through this week, it is good to slowly build some momentum. It's going from the very early uh, phase of the lunar cycle, very early energy phase, and slowly building some momentum. So good to still set some intentions from the weekend and maybe you start to implement those a little bit but still with some flexibility as we're still again just slowly moving things forward now um, some aspects we have this week on Tuesday Mercury will be opposite up to Uranus so that'll be good to maybe think outside of the norm of things maybe mix up the routine a little bit get into some excitement some new and different energy particularly in terms of what we're thinking about and possibly with communication could be nice around Thursday Venus will be squaring up to Saturn and so this will be good for or maybe having a bit of patience when it comes to the enjoyments of life and our relationships. Good for some of the long-term and disciplined and uh, you know responsible sort of approach to our enjoyments and relationships. And then around Friday, Mercury will be changing sign, going into balancing Libra to join up with the sun. So our minds will be doing a bit of a shift of perspective, going from a lot of the improvement orientation we've had these past few months, and now another step into Libra, which is thinking more in lines of what is going to bring more balance into our life and how can we incorporate a little bit of balance when it comes to interrelating with others as well. All right, so let's go and take a look at all of this here as well as some of the other aspects in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this week, November 16th to the 22nd. Uh, again, we are using the visible sky called True Sidereal Astrology. As you can see here, the constellations are different sizes. Scorpio, very small. Ophiuchus is a new constellation not normally used, but it is an actual zodiac sign because it does pass through the ecliptic, which by definition is a zodiac sign. But anyway, the signs are different. You will notice they will change, so definitely check out the link down below for more information if you are new to this form of astrology. All right, so let's do a quick recap and see where all the fast movers are placed to get some perspective for the week. Again, the most important thing is that we just had that new moon last weekend, and so it is good to slowly implement some new things and just kind of see early in the week what new is starting to emerge and um, you know to start to incorporate that and, and still be flexible though as it is still the early phase of the cycle. Now the sun will still be in Libra all week so the focus in the weekly sense is still good for balance right especially once Mercury joins here um, on, on Friday. So in this context balance uh, sun and Libra is about seeing both sides of the coin both sides of the scales and to see how we can walk a bit of a centered approach. This can be in our personal life which is good for seeing if there's any areas that we can reintegrate within ourselves. Also in our external life to see if there's any areas out of balance we can bring back into balance. And Libra oftentimes does deal with interpersonal and relate relational matters. So it is good to see both sides of the coin when dealing with others to focus on things in terms of what's right, what's fair, mutual, and even cooperation is great with this focus. But Mercury will be finishing Virgo up until Friday, so the larger context is still good for improving things until, uh, you know, even through next week with Venus still here. But with our minds up until Friday, seeing how we can continue to solve problems, fix things, uh, improve things, find solutions, right? Getting into that detail, analytical energy, which has been very strong for a very long time with this very large constellation of Virgo and Mercury here throughout his whole last retrograde. So finishing up those matters this week. But Venus is still here and will be for the whole week. So still seeing the value of it, still connecting with others when it does come to what we can find solutions with, uh, to work with others, whether it's coming together for things like personal development or work or improvement uh, is still very good, very enjoyable and a great way of connecting at this time. Now Mars, of course, Mars in his very, very long transit of Pisces is still here, but now direct. Mars went direct last week. So now Mars is starting to build some momentum. I think we've learned a lot these past few months about going more with the flow about not to push things too much, to kind of use the currents of life and put energy towards that. Possibly also in the context of what's very important to us on a soul level, 
and deeper spiritual level that we can now perhaps implement and how to, again, have a bit more of a receptive approach to when we're taking action and initiative with Mars. All right, so let's go and take a look at the aspects. As you can see, uh, most of the aspects are concentrated in the first half of the week, um, and they're not that major. So I think it's uh, relative to the previous weeks, a bit of a quiet week astrologically. Um, on Monday here, we will have the moon in a fucus. So Monday is a great day for healing. Um, even the earlier part of Tuesday as well. Uh, with the moon here, a fucus represents exposing the deeper realms about ourself and of life, the sort of shadow, if you will, to work with it, right? And this gives us a little bit of a prelude as to what the solar eclipse will be like on December 14th, the next new moon, um, since the moon will be passing over this part of the sky. So yeah, really good for this inward healing, acceptance, uh, and probably from this feeling a bit rejuvenated as we do get to about the middle part of Tuesday once the moon starts to go into expansive Sagittarius. But uh, Mercury will be opposite up to Uranus from for later of the part of Monday and early Tuesday. Mercury, the planet of our mind and communication in opposition to eccentric, visionary, and sometimes exciting Uranus. So with this, we just wanna make sure everything's nice and balanced as it always is important with oppositions that if there is a part of us that does wanna have new experiences or see things from a new perspective, it's great to do this in conscious and constructive ways. So thinking outside the box, getting into our visionary side and uh, very good for in, in, intuitive thinking, innovative thinking, visionary thinking when we do set that intention. And just to make sure nothing's too, you know, too extreme to any of that, that we're not being impulsive or, erratic, or erratic, but that's not usually too much of a tendency with an opposition as it normally would with a square. Just good to see how we can implement some of that visionary eccentric and getting outside of our comfort zone a little bit, exciting energy with Uranus when it comes to our mind, possibly our routines, and maybe with communication. Once we get to the later part of Tuesday, the moon will go into expansive Sagittarius. So this is great for coming out of the deeper healing energies from Monday and early Tuesday and going into the more expansive energies, right? Sagittarius is like that butterfly that comes out of the cocoon, the cocoon being the deeper healing energy that now we're feeling a bit more free spirited and a bit more expansive. And this will be an energy with us all the way up until about uh, late Thursday. So for pretty much the whole week here, and this is good for philosophy, abstract thoughts, right side of the brain thinking, expanding our perspective a little bit, and sometimes quite literally some adventure, some free spiritedness there when it comes to expanding our literal horizons can also be very nice. All right, and then as we start to get into the later part of Wednesday and early Thursday, we, while we finish up this expansive energy, uh, we do have a couple aspects. We have a minor one. The sun will be sextiling up to Saturn. The Saturn energy is quite strong these two days, and Saturn does represent the long road, right? And I think on one hand, we're willing to see the long road, at least it's available with the sextile to Saturn, to be a bit patient and disciplined and responsible. Uh, but I think where there could be some challenges collectively with it has to do with our enjoyments and possibly our relationships. So it'll be good particularly to set the intention to see how we can be a bit patient uh, when it comes to our enjoyments in life, when it comes to our relationships, to see the long road and to do the responsible thing. And in this way, it becomes very constructive. In fact, I think anything that we do want to put that grounded long-term approach into can come out quite productive or quite constructive uh, this part of the week. But yeah, uh, setting the intention to do that, right? Putting in time, patience, perseverance, Maybe seeing the value of that and the enjoyment of that uh, into different areas of our life can make this a very constructive middle part of the week. All right, and then once we start to get into the later part of Thursday and into Friday, the moon will be shifting into Saturn's constellation of Capricorn. And so that does put more of that same kind of emphasis we were talking about, not so much in a challenging sense, but just that it's a good time, um, these uh, pretty much couple days, Friday, Saturday in particular, to do just that, to see the long road, right? And Capricorn's the seagoat. It's all about striving towards some sort of achievement or some long-term plan that we have, but always taking one step at a time, right? And check, checking to make sure that every step that we're taking is firmly placed, is, is the, the foundation we're standing on is strong before moving on to the next one. And in this way, again, very constructive, very productive part of the week. And the sea side of the sea goat reminds us to always be connected to our spiritual roots and what's important to us on a spiritual level when it does come to the productive 
and achievement-oriented aspects of life. So this is about the part of the week here on Friday when Mercury starts to shift into Libra. And so finishing up that improvement nature when it comes to our thinking process and starting to slowly go into more of the scales, the balance, right? And so Mercury here means our minds might go more towards themes of justice, of what's right, of ethics, of morality. And again, seeing that we can walk a bit of a centered approach in our life, which the sun has already been helping us do, but now we can think a little bit more in those terms with Mercury. All right, and then no major aspects over the weekend, but as we do get to the later part of Saturday and into Sunday, the moon will be going into visionary Aquarius. And so that'll be good for seeing things in terms of the future. What are our future ideals, our future visions, and to get in touch with our eccentric side, which is really our true self, that has a unique role to play in the future, right? We all have a very unique role to play, and it's very important for us to connect to that eccentric, unique, and different side of ourselves so that we can contribute change, right? Because nothing ever changes if nothing new is introduced, and we all play an important role in terms of that individual spark being introduced into the collective. Could just be simply a good day for hanging out with friends, groups, community kind of stuff as well on a more personal level. All right, and I do wanna mention that the weekend is a good time to start to challenge ourselves because we will be entering the first quarter phase of the lunar cycle, which means that exactly a week before that was the new moon. And so the first quarter is good for implementation to really buckle down, channel some energy constructively to build whatever these new beginnings are that have likely or will likely be surfacing from the early part of this week. All right, everyone, so that is the week in a nutshell. Uh, put simply, it's new moon, entering into implementation in terms of the lunar cycle, energy slowly building in the context of all this. The context is Libra, and so it is about finding balance and you know, walking that centered approach personally and interpersonally and within, right? And uh, what else is quite important is here around the um, Friday time, Mercury will be joining up to that Libra energy, adding to that, but all the aspects are pretty straightforward. Um, you know, having a bit of a visionary mind around late Monday, Tuesday in balanced ways and starting to implement some, some patience, some long-term disciplined energy um, around the Wednesday, Thursday, but even all the way through up until uh, the late part of, um, of Saturday with the moon in Capricorn here. All right, so everyone have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click that like button if you haven't yet. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. If you're not yet an MTZ insider, definitely sign up down below for extra videos and content like this one. But again, have a great one. Thank you again. And I'll see you all next time for the next weekly forecast. Take care.